Far from Dakota's canyons, lands of the wild ravine, the dusky Sioux, the lonesome stretch, the silence. Happily today a mournful wail, happily a trumpet note for heroes. The battle bulletin, the Indian ambuscade, the craft, the fatal environment. The cavalry companies fighting to the last and sternest heroism in the midst of their little circle with their slaughtered horses for breastworks the fall of Custer and all his officers and men. Continues yet the old, old legend of our race, the loftiest of life, upheld by death, the ancient banner perfectly maintained. Oh, lesson opportune, oh, how I welcome thee. As sitting in dark days, lone, sulky, through the time's thick murk, looking in vain for light, for hope, from unsuspected parts of fierce in momentary proof, the sun there at the center, though concealed, electric life forever at the center, breaks forth a lightning flash. Thou of the tawny flowing hair in battle, I erstwhile saw with erect head, pressing ever in front, bearing a bright sword in thy hand, now ending well in death the splendid fever of thy deeds. I bring no dirge for it or thee. I bring a glad, triumphal sonnet. Desperate and glorious, I in defeat, most desperate, most glorious. After thy many battles in which never yielding up a gun or color, leaving behind thee a memory sweet to soldiers, thou yieldest up thyself.